The fourth Ghana Independence T20 Cricket Tournament was launched yesterday. Sasha Ramsaran reports. The Guyana Independence Cup T20 Tournament was launched yesterday in the chambers of the Burbies Cricket Board. The tournament, which is now in its fourth year, is a collaborative effort between the Burbies Cricket Board and the Burbies Chamber of Commerce. This was further highlighted by President of the Burbies Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Ramu Rajnot. This venture is a calendar venture that has been going on for four years. It, it's also a collaborated effort between the Burbies Cricket Board of Control and the Burbies Chamber of Commerce and Development. Proceeds from this event goes towards organizations, charitable organizations, and this year funds will be donate, donated to the Balnevas Babu John Orphanage and also other charitable organizations. We would be having teams from the upper quarantine, Port Morant area, Rosal Tongue Youth and Sports Club, Albion Community Center, Young Warriors Cricket Club, Tuckbar Park, Blairmont, the police and the West Barbies team. I think that will come from the West Barbies chamber. According to Secretary of the Burbies Cricket Board, Miss Angela Hanif, a number of guest players are also expected to participate in the tournament. On the day of the activity, we will be having four teams. The teams will be upper quarantine combined with Fort Moran, and each team is expected to have one guest player. Fort Moran will have Ramnery Sawan. Albion Rosal Town, we're looking at Kimo Paul. West Burbies Blairmont, we're looking at Kevlin Inla. And Ramsalam Kanji, we're looking at Shimon Petimayo. The event is being held to coincide with Guyana's 50th Independence Anniversary celebrations. 50 years of an independent nation. And I think we would have achieved a lot in 50 years. Um, so it is a moment to be proud of. It is a moment for us to all celebrate and enjoy. And I'm hoping that after you would have had your frolic and enjoyment in Georgetown and wherever else on the 26th, you will make time off to come on the 29th at Rosal Community Center to enjoy a wonderful day of cricket. The tournament will kick off at 9 hours on Sunday, May 29th at the Rosal Community Center ground. The first place winners of the competition will receive $100,000 and a trophy, runner-up $50,000 and a trophy, and third place $25,000. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.